Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,344. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook file and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great video here. We want to see how to create a dynamic conditional formatting for the entire row in an Excel table. And really the question is, if we have our condition or criteria here, I need the entire row to change color. If I change it to Aspen, I immediately need all of the Aspen records to change to that color. Not only that, but if I add new records to the bottom of this Excel table, I want the conditional formatting to automatically update. All right, well, if we're going to add conditional formatting to an entire row, we need to trigger inside of conditional formatting, which is home up here. We're going to have to trigger a true in this cell, a true in this cell, and a true in this cell, all based on this condition here. That way, three trues for the row, cell formatting will appear in each cell. Now, I don't know a built-in way to do this, so I can't like click the button up in conditional formatting. So anytime that is the case, we have to switch over building formulas to apply our conditional formatting. Now, notice over here, I've already highlighted this range that's exactly the same size as this range over here. And I want to build a formula in that active cell, copy it over and down, and see if the patterns of trues and falses work in the cells. Then when it's working, I can copy the formula and paste it up in the conditional formatting dialog box. So for example, this row, which corresponds to Aspen, we better see a bunch of trues there. All right, so watch this. I'm going to say equals. And since the product in this row is right there, I'm going to click on cell B5. Now, that is table formula nomenclature. And that's not going to work for us here. So I'm simply going to type out the cell reference B5. Now, that won't work because when I copy the formula to the side, I need to be locked on the B. So I'm actually going to put a dollar sign in front of the B, but not the 5. Notice, as I copy the formula this way, each cell will be looking at the quad product in B5. But because there's no dollar sign in front of the 5, when I copy it down, it will move to row 6 and be looking at Bellin. Then I need to ask the question, are you equal to whatever the condition or criteria is here? And I hit the F4 key to lock it in all directions, because every cell needs to look at the criteria in E5. That's the formula. Control Enter, copy it over, and then copy it down. I'm looking for the patterns of trues and falses, and sure enough, there it is. We can verify that the cell references are correct by using the F2 key to put it in edit mode. Notice B8, tab F2, B8, tab F2. So our mixed cell reference with the column locked but not the row worked perfectly. All right, now I want to copy this formula. So I'm going to go to the uppermost left corner and copy this formula in edit mode, Control-C, Escape. And then I'm going to highlight the same exact parallel range to over here with the active cell corresponding to the cell I copied from. Now I can go up to Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule, or I can use the keyboard Alt-H-L-N. Now this New Formatting Rule dialog box has a bunch of options. And the one we want is use a formula to determine which cells to format. I can either click on it with my mouse or use the Page Down keyboard to jump from the top list to the bottom. Now I need to paste my formula in this text box, Format Values where this formula is true. I can either click with my mouse or use the Tab key. Now I can Control V, and there's my formula. Now think about this. This is sitting in a dialog box. But in memory, it will be as if it's put into this cell, copied over and down, distributing a pattern of trues and falses to every cell. Format, and you can add whichever type of formatting you'd like. Number, font, border, fill, I'm just going to add fill. Click OK, click OK. That is amazing. If I come over here and change this to sunshine, boom, instantly it works. But now 
let's test it and see if that conditional formatting that I applied just to this range will continue down as I add new records. I'm going to either click in the last cell and hit Tab to add a new record, or simply click below and type my record. Type to Date Tab. Sunshine, and look at that. The autocomplete from above is totally working. So I'm going to hit Tab. Already we can see it's working. Now I'm going to hit Tab and add a new record. This time I'm going to type Quad Tab. 43, Control Enter. I use Control Enter or Enter instead of Tab, because if I hit Tab, it would add a new record. Now I'm going to come up and check this. Click the drop down Quad. That is totally amazing. Conditional formatting to highlight an entire row, totally dynamic in an Excel table. All right, we'll see you next video.